Good morning, Command Sergeant Major Schmidt, Command Sergeant Major Shirley, Mr. McKinney, Mr. Ortiz, Sergeant Major Alam, families and friends. Welcome to the Non-Commissioned Officer Leadership Center of Excellence graduation ceremony for the Army's Master Leader Course Distributed Learning Class. I am Staff Sergeant Michael Oliver and I will be the narrator for today's ceremony. The Master Leader Course was developed to prepare selected senior non-commissioned officers for positions of greater responsibility throughout the Department of Defense. The aim of the course is to further develop the professional skills and competencies required of Master Sergeants in the 21st century. This is accomplished in a rigorous learning environment where the program is designed to test each student on all important aspects of performance for the increased leadership and management responsibilities required of all senior non-commissioned officers. These graduates have completed a demanding six-week course in an asynchronous online learning environment that focuses on topics such as leadership, operations management, joint operations, and communications that assist in preparing them to transition from a tactical leader to an operational leader. This course of study will enhance their professional abilities as senior non-commissioned officers. Additionally, they will assist the non-commissioned officer leadership center of excellence and the Army as we formalize this important gateway of NCO progression in education. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we would like to recognize the facilitators of the Master Leader Course Distributed Learning Class, Mr. Fred Love, Mr. Ramon Insuraga, Mr. Patrick Quirk, Master Sergeant Dolly Mast, Master Sergeant Trevor Pesh, Master Sergeant John Wesslinger, at this time, the invocation will be given by Chaplain Joseph Salem, followed by the playing of the National Anthem. Let us pray. Almighty God, we welcome your presence in our ceremony today as we honor these esteemed graduates of the Master Leader Course. Thank you for the new insights and wisdom they've gained, for they now go forth to further strengthen our military's backbone as they lead the way in the cause of freedom in increasingly complex global operating environments. God grant each graduate wisdom to apply themselves to the challenges ahead. May they rise boldly to lead with professionalism and honor. May they be passionate stewards of our Army's people first vocation. And Lord, we thank you for our dedicated MLC instructors and staff who've worked so diligently to lay a strong foundation for excellence ahead. Finally, Lord, we ask for your protection and strength for all present here, for our invaluable military families, and especially those in harm's way this very day. We pray all these things in your mighty name. Amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight For the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets went left the bombs bursting in there gave proof through the night that our flag was still there who say does that star spangled It is now my honor to introduce the director of the Master Leader Course, Sergeant Major Rhonda Bird. Good morning, Command Sergeant Major Schmidt, Command Sergeant Major Shirley, Mr. McKinney, Mr. Ortiz, Sergeant Major Alam, family and friends. Welcome to today's graduation ceremony for our distributed learning class. Congratulations on successfully completing the Master Leader Course. 
The past six weeks have been challenging and demanding as you were faced with balancing your everyday duties, family life, and completing all course requirements. You remain focused and never lost sight of the finish line. Continue to be an adaptive and agile leader. You will now be returning to your units readily capable of leading them to fight and win in complex operational environments. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest speaker. Good morning, Command Sergeant Major Smith, Command Sergeant Major Shirley, Mr. McKinney, Mr. Ortiz, Sergeant Major Alarm, distinguished guests, family members, friends, and graduating NCOs of Master Leader Course Distributed Learning Class. Let me start by saying congratulations to you for successfully completing another significant milestone in your military career. Over the past six weeks, you have worked hard to make it to this day. From day one, you have been coached, mentored, and led by a number of outstanding facilitators to help you with completing all course requirements. I applaud you for not only embracing the challenge, but for exceeding the standards. And to your family members, I applaud them for their never-ending support. For it is not easy for any spouse, son, or daughter to watch their loved ones put in countless academic hours for an extended period of time while balancing work and family life. Hopefully, they will get the honor and privilege to see you put everything that you've learned into action. As I stand before you today, I am humbled to have the honor and privilege to be your guest speaker. In preparing my speech for today's ceremony, I thought to myself, what words of advice could I bestow upon these non-commissioned officers as they graduate today? There are so many things I can tell you that will help to further mentor you and prepare you for that journey. But there are a few things in particular that I want to speak with you about today. I will try to be as brief as possible because I know that I am the only thing standing between you and the end of this ceremony. As a leader, your soldiers will look to you for answers. Don't be that leader who's afraid to step away from the norm and make changes. Be that leader that your soldiers and peers want to emulate. Be the change you want to see within your organizations and do what is right even when no one is looking. Soldiers see y'all and they will mimic everything they see you do. Lead by example. Be approachable. For not only will your soldiers look to you for guidance, but so will your superiors and peers. They don't expect you to know all the answers, but they will expect you to be able to point them in the right direction while providing sound advice. Don't just do the bare minimum to accomplish your daily tasks or when it comes to taking care of your soldiers. Be sincere and proficient enough that when a soldier walks away from your office, they feel confident that their needs have been met. You will be the subject matter expert that they will rely on to take care of their needs as they move about their day. The knowledge that you will pass on to your soldiers will pay dividends as you are doing your part in preparing our future leaders. The last thing I want you to focus on is don't just meet the standards, exceed the standards in everything you do. Set your goals high, and you will be successful in everything that you set out to achieve. Remember that change is inevitable and it's not always necessary. Don't be afraid to set yourself apart from your peers, but in doing so, you must also never forget where you came from or that you are still a member of a team. Now, as I close, I want to leave you with something that the late great General Colin Powell once wrote. I quote, avoid having your ego so close to your position that when your position fall, your ego goes with it. Don't expect to always be great. Disappointments, failures, and setbacks are a normal part of the life cycle in a unit or company. And what the leader has to do is constantly be up and say, we have a problem, let's go and get it. Our team is strong, let's graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of Master Leader Course Distributed Learning Class.
At this time, we will have the playing of the Army song. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for viewing today's virtual ceremony. Congratulations again to the graduates of the Army's Master Leader Course Distributed Learning Class. This concludes today's graduation ceremony.